Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cape and Bark Zoo. My name is Leaf, as always, and I'm joined by my good buddy, no one. Yes, it's correct. So, unfortunately, Nick is still on a break right now. I do apologize if you guys were hoping to see him again. Uh, I will report that he is doing good. He's just taking a little bit of time for himself right now. I definitely do want him back to the game as soon as possible, but I believe it's best that he's focusing on himself right now. And yes, so we're just going to leave that there. We have a lot to get into today. Well, not really a lot. This is probably, it's probably the best episode for him to not be in because, you know, it's probably not the best exhibit. Um, So, of course, we're doing the little petting zoo over here. And we at Capron Park Zoo have two animals over here. We have the alpacas and we also have the boer goats. Now, the boer goats are a breed of goats from, I believe, South Africa. They're a Dutch kind of goat. And they're bred to have, like, these large bulging stomachs, actually. So they're pretty good for me. And they also have these pretty rounded heads, kind of. I don't know. They're just very interesting looking ghosts. They don't really have horns. They have big floppy ears. I love these guys so much. But anyways, they're pretty good at Capron. They don't really do much. Um, I just really do love them, uh, nonetheless. They're just pretty neat guys. So... Mostly, I wanted to give an emphasis on their exhibit itself, as well as the surroundings for it. So this entire episode is a little bit more of a cleaning episode, as well as, like, a general layout for starting something that's going to be happening soon, which are the sloth bears and the lion exhibits, yes. So we have a lot of animals down this row right here in particular, but for the time being, we're just focusing on our little petting zoo. Just wanted to get this episode quick out for you guys because I know, I know, I see all the comments all the time that's like, when is Capron coming back? When is Capron coming back? And I'm so happy that it's finally back for you guys because I too wanted to get back in here as soon as possible, but I just really wasn't feeling inspired enough, but I went the other day alone. Um, <laughs> It was just me alone at the zoo and it was still pretty nice nonetheless. You can see me actually make those custom uh, sectioned off barriers, I guess. The uh, roped, rope fences, I guess. And I realized that we actually got them free in the update. But I prefer my custom ones more. But nonetheless, here you can actually see me work on the fencing over here. It's pretty interesting exhibit. So they actually don't use all of the... Uh, yard for them they sometimes let the alpacas and the goats in the other yard but they mostly stay in the little gravel yard and sometimes i feel a little bad for these guys you know they, they're only restricted to this little drab part of the exhibit but i trust caper knows what they're doing um of course i would love to see them in the other exhibit or even another animal in there but i feel like it adds to a little bit more of the small zoo charm and you can see me actually fill out the little gravel bits with the sand that we have in there and i add the keeper door as well as the animal gate which is a little bit of a custom one uh they also have this little black window over there so i kind of swapped that out right there and I did, unfortunately, not get any signage in here this episode. I'm not really the signage kind of guy. And then Nick's the better guy at signage. He does so much better work than I ever could. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a little bit of a filler, not really filler episode, but a filler up episode, I guess you could kind of say, where I kind of fix everything up. Fix an up episode. That sounds so much better and much more professional, if I do say so myself. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the layout of that entire exhibit. It's nothing too crazy if you do see me pause at any point in this speed build it's because i am consulting my pictures that i took ever since i started this build so i've been to capron about like maybe five or six times ever since we started this recreation and every single time i'm like damn it i need more pictures it's just never enough and i feel so bad for goron too especially with the uh, recreations because he has to like make a whole day out of going to the Bexibergen. um meanwhile for me i could just go to capron right now and be back before lunch like, that's how easy it is for me to get there. But still, just making sure that, you know, the next time I keep account of what I need to take pictures of and what I need to take reference of and just essentially work off of there. So definitely, I probably need to get a lot more pictures of signage the next time I go and a lot more of the smaller details. But for general ideas, I think I pretty much captured everything I really needed to for these much 
more unique exhibits and of course doing a custom shed over there and they actually this was actually perfect right here they actually had a scratching pad right there and it actually works out so well for you know all the animals there and i wanted to do a little bit of a custom feeder over there uh they have this for like the alpacas and they put hay in it so i kind of put a uh like the tree tree covers i guess and then a faux not faux uh thatch roof for their for their hay yes that is how words work and they also have these weird little brushes for the goats to actually brush up against and so i kind of make those out of like the uh, font pieces nothing too crazy it actually works out pretty good in the end and they have a tree right there this is what i love about recreations it's just there's always something to do and there's an end goal for it Meanwhile, when you're doing stuff like, for example, Sugar Pine, I'm like, I never know how long something is going to take. And granted, kind of the same thing over here. That's why this episode kind of has a little bit more of like other things that I do in here as well. But that's what I love about recreations. There's always like a set goal in mind. And it's just kind of rewarding when you see it all like come into play. And of course, just getting like all these tiny details narrowed out. Just some very weird stuff happening in here, but I still love it nonetheless. They also have this little sign over here that explains why the goats are so fat. Uh, spoiler alert, they are not fat. They just have like very chambered stomachs, I guess. Um, I didn't actually read it. I have a picture of it. Uh, it's not on there yet, but it will be soon. Um, and rotating these fences as well, just making sure everything looks nice and clean. And they have one over here with some hand sanitizer. Definitely gonna finish that up later down the line as well. I just wanted to get like like the uh, main main focal points of the exhibit done first and foremost and it actually comes out so freaking spectacular in the end i'm so happy with how well this recreation is coming out it really does go to show like the passion that you can put into planet zoo and how wonderful things can turn out i will admit this part right over here it didn't turn out the best i'm also fixing up a little bit of nick's river otter exhibit over here just to account for you know the mesh that happens over there as well as some of the smaller details that he wasn't able to achieve now that we have some really awesome new pieces uh especially like the branch and sticks i was able to really like hammer down like the smaller intricacies of the you know world-renowned river otter exhibit which it's a pretty damn good exhibit I'll, I'll i'll give them credit and they also have a little bit of mesh over here i also love this part of the exhibit where you can kind of like look in both ways to see where the otters are sleeping which you know they're always sleeping in that little wooden log exhibit or whatever and as well as getting these what are these the mesh down uh yeah they have these like mesh gabions over here to hold the sticks in i guess i don't really know but it looks really cool in the end and i just had to kind of redo it over here um i don't know it's just it's just these small details that really help to flesh out like the smaller refined points of the recreation i really like it and of course just making sure that i follow like the same kind of fencing on throughout the entire exhibit not exhibit but the zoo itself as you guys may notice we're kind of like kind of going back to old places and making sure everything kind of fits its own vibe just making sure everything is nice i really do love it nonetheless and getting these beautiful new plants in here uh just making sure everything looks swell and of course i really would be remiss if i did not mention how amazing kai's path mod is in here just getting these smaller intricacies of the asphalt to work well it helps so much more when you're doing like exhibits like this not exhibits but recreations because you gotta get so precise if you're doing like a freehand build yeah you can have a little bit of you know your own swing your own taste on things but over here you gotta get really specific and it helps out so much and of course over here doing this little bit of a amphitheater i forgot what they actually call it well i think it's like something pumpkin seed amphitheater we'll see it in a little bit but i did put it a little bit too far close to the tamarind exhibit but i will be changing that later down the line um I just really was a little bit cramped, I guess, uh, for space, so I'll actually be able to fix that up soon. And that's one of the harder parts of recreations like this. It's spacing. It's trying to translate something that's in a real life scale over to a digital scale. 
and eventually we do get everything working pretty good in the end and in the next episode i will certainly fix this up but i think the actual amphitheater itself came out pretty good i think like you know the guest seating works pretty well and just making sure that everything feels nice everything has a nice flow and making sure realism of course is being most accounted for and of course, they have this little bit of a height measuring tool over here to see how far you can stack up against animals. Just making sure that that generally looks good before I actually get into the more refined details later down the line. Uh, but yeah, just pumpkin seed. Yes, it's a pumpkin seed amphitheater. And it has this beautiful like green text over there. I think it comes out pretty well in the end. And of course, they have like little stools and benches over there just to make sure guests can like watch whatever presentations happen over there. I haven't personally sat down there for a presentation yet but I'm sure even like in the you know the summer months where they have the camp and stuff they'll probably have something over there but they used to have this beautiful lemur statue not statue but sign over there and it looked so cool but they got rid of it and I'm kind of sad about that but you know what what can you do adding the benches on the hillside over here as well making sure that everything looks nice everything looks real and making sure everything is accounted for no stone is left unturned over here and they actually do have another path up to that upper pathway but i kind of forgot where it was my reference pictures actually didn't capture that so that's a little bit unfortunate but with that being said we're about to end the video over here thank you guys so much for watching definitely do check out nick's channel i know he isn't uploading but you know let's bump him up to 6k why not but with that being said enjoy the roll guys i can't wait to see you guys in the next episode of cape Brand. and bye bye take care have a great one